key components of societal security. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, it is those who have faith and don't mix their faith with idolatry, who will be secure and it is they who are rightly guided. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Security is one of the greatest blessing that the Almighty Allah has blessed his servant with. As Allah the Most High says, he did this to make the Quraysh feel secure. Secure in their winter and summer. Secure in their winter and summer journey. So let them worship the Lord of this house who provides them with food to ward of hunger, safety to ward of fear. Allah the Almighty also said, have we not established for them a secure sanctuary where every kind of produce is brought as a provision from us, but most of them don't comprehend. He, glory be to him, also said, can they not see that we have made them a secure sanctuary, though all around them people are snatched away? Then how can they believe in what is false and deny God's blessing. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, whoever among you wakes up in the morning secured in his dowling, healthy in his body, having his food for the day, then it is as he possessed the whole world. Undoubtedly, security is a community work shared by all people of the country as no one of them can bring about security for himself and his family independently of the security of society. People in their communities and countries are like passengers of a ship that cannot survive with some of them away from the others. Representing this meaning, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the likeness of the man who observed the limits prescribed by Allah and that of the man who transgressed them is like the people who get on board of a ship after casting a lot. Some of them are in its lower deck and some of them in its upper deck. Those who are in its lower deck, when they require water, go to the occupants of the upper deck and say to them, if we make a hole in the bottom of the ship, we shall not harm you. If they, the occupants of the upper deck, leave them to carry out their design, they all be drowned. But if they do not let them go ahead with their plan, all of them will remain, will remain safe. The societal security has a pillars and key components, including strengthening faith that bring reassurance to society and protects its against extremism and intellectual deviation. As the Almighty Allah says, those who have faith and whose heart find peace in the remembrance of Allah, truly it's the remembrance of Allah that heart find peace. It is faith in Allah which achieve the inner security of the members of society, which is reflected on security of a society as a whole. Another thing, the economic aspect that's based on work, production, and perfection. Therefore, our religion urges us to work and to perfect our work. The Almighty Allah says, say, Prophet, take action. Allah will see your actions as he will messenger, as he, as will his messenger and believers. Allah the Almighty also said, do good to others as Allah has done good to you. Don't seek to spread corruption in the land, for Allah does not love those who do this. 
The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah loves that whenever any of you do something, you should perfect it. Allah loves that whenever any of you do something, you should perfect it. It's very important. In this way, security is achieved and society will live in stability. Another thing, establishment of values of, of solidarity and compassion among the people of society. Our religion has given a special attention to, to this aspect through imposing zakah, calling for charity, and the encouragement of, an, of endowments. Allah the Almighty said, those who spend their wealth in Allah's cause are like grain of corn that produce seven ears, each bearing a hundred grain. Allah gives multiple increase to whoever he wishes. He is limitless and all-knowing. He, glory be to him, also said, whatever charity you give benefit to your own soul, provided you do it for the sake of Allah. Whatever you give will be repaid to you in full, and you will not be wronged. The Prophet also, peace be upon him, said, if anyone relieves a Muslim believer, from one of the hardship of, the, of this worldly life, Allah will relieve him of one of the hardship of the day of resurrection. If anyone makes it easy for the one who is in debt to him, while finding it's difficult to repay, Allah will make it easy for him in this worldly life and in the hereafter. And if anyone conceal the fault of a Muslim, Allah will conceal his faults in this world and in the hereafter. Allah also helps his slave as long as he helps his brothers. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who has an extra mount should lend it to him who has none. And he who has extra provision should give it to him who has none. And he continued mentioning other properties until we thought that none of us had any right to superplus his own property. One of the most important pillar of, society, of societal security is the consolidation of the principles of equality among people. People are equal. People are equal to one another and the safe and civilized society, the society does not know discrimination among its citizens on the basis of color or race. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, O oh people, your Lord is one. O oh people, your Lord is one, and your Father is one. An Arab has no superiority over non Arab, nor non Arab has any superiority over Arab. Also, the white has no superiority over the black, nor does the black have, have any superiority over the white, except by pity. Superiority among individuals in the society has only one basis. It is the basis of personal cap capabilities and powers, and the individual's effort, efforts in benefiting the society. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon him and upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that achieving environmental security is one of the most important pillars of societal security through the development of the environment and practicing it from any damage or dangers. And the Almighty Allah said, it was he who brought you into being from earth and made you inhabit it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, if a Muslim plant a tree or saw a field and then men, beasts, and birds eat from it, all of it is a charity from him. The Prophet also, peace be upon him, said, face Faith has over 70 branches. 
or over 60 branches, the uppermost of which is the declaration that there is no God but Allah, and the least of which is the removal of harmful object from the road. How much do we need to consolidate our effort to achieve and maintain societal security through the integration of all the old state institutions, including the army, police, judiciary, family, education, as well as religious, culture, and civil institution, so that all members of society can feel safe through their consol consolidate efforts. Oh Allah, we ask you to keep the blessing of safety. Oh Allah, we ask you to keep the blessing of safety and security for us, the whole of Egypt, and all Muslim countries. Thank you so much.